transported to what is still the greatest city on the face of the earth, New York, and it's not good enough for them because apparently their filet mignon is not cooked. You know, it's a little too rare. I want to talk about the outrage that your taxpayer money is being used to ship illegals across the country. All right, Monica. Canada now. They're going from Mexico to the U.S. to Canada. Right. Well, good luck living under that petty little tyrant Justin <laughs> Trudeau in Canada, right? No. You might think that I'm talking about Republicans who sent migrants from Texas or Florida up to New York City. But no, I'm talking about New York helping those people get to Canada. Jesse, there is irony, and then there's what's happening here. So these people break into the United States, break our laws to come into the country, get transported to what is still the greatest city on the face of the earth, New York, and it's not good enough for them. Because that's where they want to go. I can't imagine why they wouldn't want to stay here. Because apparently their filet mignon is not cooked. You know, it's a little too rare. How absurd, my God, is their filet mignon not good enough? So they're going to hightail it out. What they're not telling you is the tickets to Canada are being paid for by you and me. Oh, no. You might want to work a little harder because you are paying their bus ticket. I have two shows, Monica. New York. How much more TV well, do you want to see me on? you got to work a little bit harder, Jesse, because you've got to pay for their filet mignon and their one-way bus ticket to Canada. But, oh, my God, the outrage that our taxpayer money is being used on a bus ticket from New York to Canada. I'm just surprised that they're not heading to Martha's Vineyard. Because that's super cushy <laughs> well, and just as cold. They, they bus them there, but that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I understand you're a stunt guy if you're the mayor. You know, you sleep on the streets. And, you know, I'm, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I had my little Linus blanket. Can you show a little hustle to get actual companies to come back to New York? Actual taxpayers? Yeah. Ron DeSantis spent $12 million of Florida taxpayer money to ship people to New York. And in Texas, Greg Abbott spent $14 million of your taxpayer money. Yeah, and what about American citizens who are, are suffering here in New York City? It's the dead of winter. We have homeless on the streets. We have drug addicts that are American citizens on the streets. We have military veterans who can't get assistance because we're told there just aren't enough resources for these American citizens. But they want to spend a couple hundred bucks to ship some people to Canada who actually want to go there? And Fox News is outraged. But Mayor Adams and so many other Democrats around the country will bend over backwards for the illegals coming in, taking jobs that actually should go to American bend citizens over like those for in Jesse need. Waters. One time I want to see someone bend over backwards for me. How much of a low-life scumbag, rich bitch, blonde bimbo do you actually have to be to suggest that homeless people who walked across Mexico to get here are only going to Canada because their filet mignon's not properly cooked? Wow. These people are sick. And this is the kind of news story you're going to get on Fox. Warning to the migrants going to Canada, don't drive a truck. Oh, Trudeau well, doesn't you're, like you're truck really drivers. In trouble. Yeah. When Joe Biden's about to have the greatest State of the Union ever. With an unbelievable jobs market, 53 year high. Unemployment is lower than it's been since my dad was a boy. And I'm real sorry, Republicans, but you can't just fill the time with bullshit like Oh my God, they spent taxpayer money on bus tickets for migrants? Because I recall just a couple of months ago, y'all having a completely different take on that very thing. Hmm. Go figure. Hell hath no fury like a hypocritical bitch on Fox News. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal.
Y'all take it easy. In Mike Lee's case, it would be true because he campaigned on eliminating Medicare and Social Security when he first ran for Senate back in 2010. I'm here right now to tell you one thing that you probably haven't ever heard from a politician. It will be my objective to phase out Social Security, nice. to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. Here, here. Um, people who advise me politically always tell me that's dangerous, and I tell them, in that case, it's not worth my running. That's why I'm doing this, to get rid of that. Medicare and Medicaid are of the same sort and need to be pulled up.